Good morning, guys. This is Lindy. Uh, today is a day I'm just thinking, okay? I'm thinking and thinking and thinking. I went to the hardware store. I'm, I'm working on this stove, this little bitty stove that I told you about. Well, I started to screw it into this pipe that connects to the stove that feeds the propane, and um, it just hissed, and, and the smell filled the, uh, the van, and I immediately stopped open my doors, yada, 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 yada. So, I put that away. Because I went to the hardware store. Maybe I need a regulator. Maybe I need, oh, I'm going to do a whole film. That's what, what editing comes into. On all the different things you can put on it. You know, and um, I was talking to them. They said, oh, no, that's normal for it to hiss until it gets screwed in correctly. So I was freaking out over nothing. But then, but then, then we're thinking, okay, so then we're thinking tow hitch. So if I put this little bitty nine-pound tank, everybody says put it outside. Well, you know, Bob Wells keeps his inside. But I understand, I understand that it's very dangerous, like having a bomb. So, tow hitches. Just to put that ball on, that tow ball, is $250 to $300, okay? Then, you could just put a basket on that, but then you can't open your back doors. I open my back doors all the time. So I need to get to things. So, if I get one of those army thingies that go on that thingy ball, then, then, that's like two hundred, three hundred dollars. Okay, so there, you, maximum six hundred dollars, max. Okay, six hundred dollars. So then, then you got to have a basket to put on that, that arm that swats, you know, it sways out to the side so you can open your doors. Then you got to uh, get a basket. Well, I can't build one. And the cheapest one I've found is like $125. I'm sure there's cheaper ones. Do I want the cheapest one? So you, you're looking at seven, $800. Now, you know, we always say van life is cheap. It is not. It is not. When you're trying to upgrade or you're trying to do things, you know, um, I was ready for the solar and stuff. You know, I had that saved up. But for goodness sakes, just a tow. Just, and, but that's not even the big important thing guys that you have to think about is are you going to remember that I'm 75 okay am I good and 76 this year it's crazy am I going to remember that I have that toe out there am I going to remember no I'm going to run into things left and right I'm going to destroy that toe so what's the point so, <laughs> so these are just thoughts you know uh, random thoughts that every day I I question well, do I do this or do I do that or should I do this or should I do that? I mean, it's nuts, you know. So, uh, you know, and the other thing is, well, maybe I should get water. Anyway, my point is, <laughs> there isn't a point. I don't think there's a point. Everything costs money <laughs> and it's getting more and more expensive. And I would rather spend my money on maintaining my vehicle because it is my home. You know, since I've been back, I changed the oil because it told me to. I had to get my smog inspection because the state told me to. And I had to get my tags. I don't even want to tell you how much that was. But that's an important part of living. You know, you're paying taxes on your house. Well, I'm maintaining my car, you know, and the fees. Yes, they're less than taxes on a house. Well, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> just thought I would tell you, you know, some days are just kind of crazy. I went into one gas station, and she goes, you want to fill up? And I go, I don't know. And she goes, what's going on? I said, I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm just totally thinking, you know. I'm just thinking in my mind all these things. When you get into a van, you're thinking all the time, you know. Um, I shouldn't say so many you knows, right? But you do know. <laughs> And if you're already living in a van, you got a clue. <laughs> so all of you that want to live in you, oh, and that's the other thing. Moving into a car. Hey, guys, I got some ideas on that. You know, could I do it? No, I'm too old. No, 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 I'm not agile enough to get in and out. 
But I was thinking, I was thinking that you, maybe that should be a separate video. I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> take all the seats out. That's the first thing. Find out how much room you have. That's the second thing. And then I'll go on from there. But you, you see all the questions that you have every day? You know, much less you got to go to the doctors. I missed an appointment because I somehow, I somehow put a block on my doctor's phone. So when they called to notify me, I, I it was blocked. So, and I forgot it. I didn't even have it anywhere. I didn't even look at my calendar. So I got another one next week. But anyway, I'll let you know. <laughs> We're going to talk again about this moving into a car. I got some ideas, guys, and I want to present them. And I want you guys, you know, to present the other thing, the other side of it, too. You know, you guys are all making your comments. And we got to think through this. You know, uh, if someone's desperate and they got to move into the car, what are they going to do? Number one, they got to get a storage unit. But that's another, that's another video. This one's way too long. My stories were like 10 minutes long, more than I like to do. I will talk to you next time. You have a great day. Thanks for watching, Camel.